Modern medicine is at the crossroads of harnessing the full spectrum of clinical data using data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. With new technologies, we stand to deliver meaningful impact and improve patient value across the board. This is the future. Everything is going to run from one location. Using artificial intelligence is the only way that you can create this kind of a change. Look, the healthcare system didn't change in the last 20 years. It's the same system. And we're still losing patients because we didn't basically put the attention. We didn't put the right resources. We didn't act on time. With electronic medical records, we now have the opportunity to analyze that data on an individual patient-by-patient -patient basis and intervene on individual patients based on their individual needs. Healthcare providers need to provide care not only more efficiently, but with an increased focus towards each patient's individual case. New technologies like machine learning and AI may help save lives and improve patient outcomes in critical care. The first patient that we really investigated, his name was Stephanie. Stephanie's a grandmother and she came to the hospital rather unexpectedly because she had been caring for her grandchild had a febrile illness and, and uh, needed to stay home from school. And about two days later, she started having fever herself and developing a cough and just not feeling well. When she got to the hospital, her heart was racing, her blood pressure was really low. The emergency room team was very concerned about her. They drew some blood cultures and got her started on antibiotics. And despite quite a bit of fluid, her blood pressure remained pretty low and ultimately she had to be on some medication to bring her blood pressure up. Initially, everyone was really pleased with her response. Her fever seemed to go away. She came off the blood pressure medicine after a day or two and was uh, really much more herself. And we were all shocked that the new system was predicting that she was going to go back into respiratory failure. And so when we really look carefully by having a qualified expert give a second opinion about the case, that we realized that we'd given her all that fluid and her body hadn't given much fluid back. And as she healed from the infection, that fluid was mobilizing and that she was on the way to becoming very breathless and maybe even requiring life support again. And so the team in consultation with her regular doctor decided to give a diuretic medicine and mobilize that fluid. And within three days, she was back home giving the care and the love and support to her grandchild that's so important to her. What's really exciting about these predictive models are that we're not waiting for her to deteriorate. We're predicting that she's going to in the future. And so we collect a huge amount of information about changes in her heart rate and her blood pressure and her oxygen level and, her, and, and other parameters. And we use that to say, oh, this is evolving. And so rather than reacting or having alerts and alarms in the room that tell us that she is deteriorating, we know ahead of time so that we can intervene in a way that prevents her from ever having any symptoms in the first place. It's truly in advance. Clue is revolutionizing intensive care units one patient at a time. Using advanced machine learning algorithms and AI, the Clue system can draw from the full range of patient data and turn it into medical knowledge for clinicians to use. When a patient is admitted to a hospital, we generally have a good idea of what's going to be required for them to recover. But sometimes the patient moves off that pathway, or sometimes they need to be placed on a different pathway. Using advanced analytics, we'll be able to ensure that a patient stays on that pathway, and if they start to deviate, get them back onto that pathway expediently by getting them the right care that they may need. That may be additional assistance for a nurse to make sure that that patient ambulates and gets out of, gets out of bed. It may be that that patient needs additional care that may not cross the mind of their physician to order. Through advanced clinical decision support, we can make sure that that patient stays on track stays on the pathway and goes home as soon as possible. When we first considered this technology, we were excited about it because we wanted better alerts and alarms. What we didn't realize was that in addition to letting us know who was going to be sick, it let us know who wasn't. This is really important because it allows us to make the experience of being an intensive care unit less burdensome. In our current practice, we have bedside monitors. They make noises, they give alerts, they give alarms, they wake our patients up all night long. Sometimes we're going in, measuring their blood pressure, sometimes even shining lights in their eyes, at times when we don't really need to. What's revolutionary about this technology is that it allows us to say with confidence that there isn't gonna be any trouble tonight. 
Families love to hear that, and patients sleep better. We know from our own experience that when our patients sleep better, they're less likely to die, they are more likely to go home, they return to activity sooner, and they more sooner feel themselves and think more clearly. Improving the sleep and the experience in the ICU is one of the great promises of this technology. At the same time my mother passed away, she, she passed away because she was admitted in a hospital that was a huge amount of patient, but not enough team to look for the patient. And she was deteriorating over two days, and then she died after the third day. She died from sepsis. And I said, there is no way in the world that technology cannot help to solve this kind of issues. And I said, let's jump to the water again, and let's create another company, but here in the area that you can really save life. Let's bring technology to healthcare, and this is exactly what we're doing. And this is the time that we want to bring, you know, the talents and the knowledge that we have in Israel into the healthcare system. We need to revolutionize the healthcare system using technology, and this is where we're good. Over the next five years, what we're gonna start seeing is a tremendous amount of data acquired on patients, data acquired every second on patients, and that's going to enable us to perform some really advanced analytics that we can't do today. But with advanced processing technologies now, we're going to be able to have analytics that enable us to do new things that we can only dream of today. To learn more, contact us today.